Welcome back to Learning with Liam. I just got back from teaching, <clears throat> and uh, today we went over bringing emotion to your speeches. And the last time I had spoken on teaching, I was a little um, disappointed. I was not happy with the reception that I was getting. I was not happy with uh, how I felt I was teaching the students. Uh, but I told myself that I would just throw in a little wrench in things. I would throw a wrench into things. I would change things up. I'd make them interesting again. And I feel that I succeeded in that. Reason being is because today in class, we were talking about bringing emotion to your speech and how you can express emotions through verbal tendencies, through speech, through speaking. And so as a fun little exercise, I decided that I would hand out index cards and they were asked to write whatever they wanted on the index cards. It could be one, two sentences. It could be a brief description of what they did this summer. It could be anything. And they did that. And then I got them, I shuffled them up, I numbered them, and I handed them back out. And starting with number one, uh, they had to come up to the front of the class and see me. And I had a computer with me, and I had a random emotion generator on the computer. And what I did was I would just generate a random emotion, and they had to say what was on their card, their randomly assigned card, with that emotion with those vocal inflections. And if the class guessed right, if the class uh, could guess what their emotion was, then they got extra credit on the quiz, or not the quiz, the uh, upcoming speech. So it seemed like people really liked it. Now, that's not to say that everyone liked it. Uh, there were definitely those people who did not want to come up and, for lack of a better term, improv in front of the entire class, but they did. and. I thought it was pretty cool, and it seemed like they liked it. Uh, and they learned a lot, right? They learned how to bring, they learned how to bring emotions into their way of speaking. Uh, if they had to speak with happiness, they'd you know uh, try to act a little bit more joyful, and their voice would escalate, and they'd talk a little bit higher, and they'd talk a little bit with a little bit of pep, and they'd have like a hop in their step. And there was a lot of different ways that they could convey that emotion to the audience. Uh, if they were sad or depressed. Their head was hanging a little bit lower. Maybe they weren't talking as loud. Maybe they were a little bit more hushed. Maybe their words had slowed up a little bit and really conveyed that emotion. And then there was anger and they got more intense and they furled their brow and they were just really intense and angry and one of them threw their cards at the ground. And that's what I was looking for, that sort of class engagement. And it worked, it worked really well and it just kind of goes to show that sometimes lecturing doesn't cut it. Sometimes standing in front of the class and saying blah 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 is not going to cut it. And so I worked in an engaging exercise and it turned out for the best. So lesson here, definitely work in engaging exercises. Do something fun. Engage with the class. Change it up. Throw a wrench into things. Not only did I appreciate it, but they appreciated it too. That's all I got for today. Till next time.